four. Good job, Jeremy, good job. I don't know whether I should try to go up in this river again or not. I'm kind of nervous. I don't know how deep it is, how far I can get up in there. Yeah, I said we tie ops. Yeah. That was close, Cap. Tell you what. You weren't nervous, were you, Brett? No, not at all, Cap. Not a bit, man. <laughs> Never a dull moment. We're moving into the deepest, darkest recesses of South American jungle. If you get hurt, you're dead out here. If the Guarani and the Jesuits came out here, it's because they wanted to bring something out here. There's no other reason to come out here. Can you imagine how difficult that would have been to come up this river hundreds of years ago? Look at how much trouble we've had getting here, yeah, you know? The Guarani legend was that they had moved something to this demon falls, and if you went to go look for it, the curse would be falling. I'm looking at it going, well, whether it's cursed or not, it's going to be dangerous as hell. So you have to be alert 100% of the time, every step. And if you're not, you'll pay the consequences. See the mist there? That's got to be a hell of a big waterfall. Yeah, yeah, it is. Look at that right there. Man, it's amazing. Look at the size of that thing. That's a lot of power, a lot of water. 50 meters high. Peaks in Paraguay. We're going to run straight in. Follow me to the rock. Ah. I can see why the Guarani called this a sacred place. I mean, look at it. If you were a Jesuit or Guarani, where would you disembark? Go back like 300 years coming up in these canoes. They're not going to be able to get past that point right there because of the current. I think they would have done exactly what we did. They probably landed right yeah. here. You got a protected and area right here to paddle into. Hiding something under that. I mean, that water's moving so quick. I don't know how you're going to stash anything behind that. It's too dangerous. No reason. When you come up on the Kundai, this waterfall's huge. The Jesuits and the Guaranis, I just cannot see them paddling all the way up to that falls to hide something. So this special stone, I mean, they don't necessarily have to hide it at a waterfall. Um, it could be next to it. It could be somewhere near it. Anything put underneath that waterfall would be gone forever. Yeah. Did you guys see that waterfall up there? Well, I think logistically, this waterfall actually makes more sense. Yeah. There could be a whole web of caves there. Well, let's split up and start combing. You guys just want to take the small waterfall? Yeah, we'll start. We'll do this whole wall. Me, you, and Cork are going to search the shore. OK, and we'll just work in the middle. Sounds okay. good. Really important, though, do not leave any stones unturned. I'm serious, because I think we're real, real close. Let's rock and roll. Show the snakes, guys. This is steep. We're on the hunt for some kind of special stone hiding here. Could be a small rock, big boulder. We just don't know. Um, the Guarani elders said that it would be very distinct from its surroundings. Now, there's no way anyone could hide anything at the base of this waterfall. So we're going to focus our search on the rocky shoreline and cliffs flanking the water. Cork, Megan, and Brett will comb every inch of the rocky shoreline with metal detectors, while Jeremy's group will cover the lower half of the slopes, starting with the area next to the small waterfall. For the higher sections of the cliff face, the team will send up the drone in search of any stones or rock structures that stand out from their surroundings. The challenge is this area is not only large, but it's very treacherous. Whoa. In the shore, all the rocks are very slippery because of the moisture and mist. Watch this stuff here. Lots of rollers. This thing is so much bigger than I thought, Court. Yeah. Check this area back in here, and I go further up. Hey! What? 
pack! Damn it! I researched. It's all in there. I thought we lost you there for a sec. He could have broke both his legs, knocked himself out. When stuff like that happens, you don't really have time to think about it. With Cork's little black book, uh, you know, if we lose that, we're done. We've got a couple little bruises here and there, but I think I was pretty lucky, honestly. Thank God, everything's in here. Megan, you're a brave woman. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Let's get it dried off. We just keep running into problem after problem out here. And it's tough. It's a tough environment, you know? But beautiful, nonetheless. But this is no joke. Just like every corner, like, I was, honestly, I was just walking over here to pee. And, um, you know, you got to be careful where you pull your pants down because it's not something you want to see when you have your pants down. That's for sure. But at the same time, you know, I get it. We got to find this treasure. We got to take some chances. Risk versus reward, you know, that's what this is all about. But I've never been great with patience, and I'm learning that this is, this is a game that you have to have a lot of patience at. So hopefully we find something soon. Though.